uh, a few people have asked me how to do network graphs of Twitter friends. <coughs> it's quite easy to, to do. I'm going to go through how to do it on a Mac, but um, it should be quite similar on Windows. Let's get rid of that. Uh, to search for your friends and in, uh, work with the Twitter API, I use a tool called Tweekol. I think that's how you pronounce it. T-W-E-C-O-L-L. -L. Just Google that and it's usually the first hit. You want the GitHub repository. Um, this is right. This is the one. Uh, and then you want to download the zip. I downloaded it already to my desktop. And you want to extract it. I've already extracted it. And so the next thing you need to do is create an a, a application with Twitter so that Tweekol can use the API. So you want to head over to apps.twitter.com, create a new app, and in here you can just type any old rubbish, doesn't really matter uh, what you put in these three first ones. The callback URL you can leave blank. Uh, you have to agree. Click create. Okay, so now once you've created the project, you need to go down to the API key and click manage keys and access tokens. <coughs> now these first two um, bits of information here, the consumer key and the consumer secret, are needed by uh, Tweekall to get your information. So what you need to do is put them into a file. So I've opened terminal. I'll do this in terminal. Um, if you type CD and then is it the tied key, it should take you to user username. This is where you need to create the file, uh, and then file you need to create has to be called uh, dot tweakol oh there we go so just type pseudo nano dot tweakol and uh, put your password in and then I've done this before so I've got some random numbers here. You only need to put in two pieces of information. The first line has to be your consumer key, and the second line has to be your consumer secret. Well, I'm going to delete these apps um, after I've finished playing with, after this video, so that these will be useless. Um, but you have this on the first line, the consumer secret on the second line, and these next two lines <coughs> should be blank. I've just got something in there because I've done something before, which you don't need to worry about yet. Uh, so you've got three things now. You've got the zip file on your desktop, but you've extracted that. You've got uh, a Twitter app with some keys. And then you've taken these keys and you've put them in a file uh, in your, your user directory. Um, in Windows you won't have Nano I guess so just open a text document and save your consumer key and your consumer secret to Windows has like an equivalent doesn't it uh, user directory so I think you should just bung it in there um, so the next thing to do is to start using Tweekle to collect the information that you want from Twitter. So we want to create a graph uh, and there's a nice little example on the GitHub on how to do it. It's very easy. You just change directory to wherever you've extracted Tweekle to, so Tweekle Master. And then you type dot slash Yeah, dot slash tweakon. 
in it and then your username uh, what I've done is I've gone and moved my tweak hold program into my path so I don't need the dot on the slash so I'll get rid of that but you will need the dot on the slash if you've not been messing around like I have so probably dot slash tweak hold in it and then the name, your username Excuse me. Now this is going to take you quite some time. Ah, this won't take you very long. <laughs> uh, that what that has done is it's created a file um, called your username. So I'm going to pile it a bit. Dot dat, and in this file, uh, it's just a, lots of information about your friends. Uh, their accounts, time zones that they're in, all that kind of thing. Um, you don't need to worry about what's in that. What you do need to do is then use the fetch command to generate information about your friends, uh, which is simple. You just, again, dot slash, but I don't put dot slash. T W E C O L L, and then fetch on your username. Uh, now I've done this before, so I won't do it again, because it takes quite a while. The more friends you've got, the longer it will take. Uh, the reason for that is that Twitter API has a limit, and if you reach the limit, then you have to wait 15 minutes. Now this program's really good, and once it's reached the limit, it will wait 15 minutes for you. Uh, so what you want to do is just leave this running somewhere if you've got a lot of friends, and then come back to it. Once you've done that, you'll have uh, a directory called fdat, You've got a bunch of numbers, a bunch of files in which are just a number.f, uh, and this is information about your friends. So if I just randomly select one of these, uh, I think that is all these are IDs of. So I've just outputted a file here, and in that file is a bunch of IDs of people that they are friends with. You can now generate a graph file to graph this just by typing again tweak uh, don't forget to put the dot slash if you haven't moved this into your path edge list and then your name again um, that's because I changed directory don't change the directory uh, now you'll get some of this missing data now that's because some of the uh, larger Twitter accounts so like one Brothers Games, that's going to have loads of followers, uh, have been skipped because the API limit is just too, too small. So, if you want to do a graph with all like large accounts in, you go, you'll probably have to pay Twitter a lot of money to use the API without limits, um, or find a service that'll do it for you because the service will pay Twitter a lot of money. Um, so, once you've run that command, that edge list username you'll have uh, this GML file. So now I've just got to graph the GML file, it's quite easy. Um, you want to search for a tool to do it with. There's lots of tools. Uh, Gephi or Gephi, I don't know how to pronounce it, is probably the, God, I can't spell, Gephi is probably the most popular tool. I've already got it on my machine actually, so I won't download it. But, um, you can you just go here and click download. Here we go. Click open graph file. And then navigate to that GML file. Uh, you can have it directed is people who follow other people. I'm just going for, for now. I'm going to put undirected. Uh, and click overview. So here you have a bunch of nodes, which are your followers. Uh, and this line means that the lines between these nodes means that there's some relationship between them. Like one of them follows the other one. Uh, it's undirected, so we don't know which way the following is. And then you can do lots of things to kind of spruce this up. Uh, you can use the 
what's this? Community detection algorithm. Uh, I forgot the name of it. Is it Levine or something? Um, yeah, I can just play around with this. So I'll do uh, between a centrality as well. But you can play around in Giphy it's quite easily. I've just uh, done some of these network statistics that call them by the the community that they're in. Uh, perhaps you can make them bigger by uh, between a centrality or something. I don't. How can I do that? Nodes. You can put their names on there. That's Jamie is friends with Mark. MWJ tweet. You can use the layout thing to. Oh, my machine's playing up, but you get the idea. It's quite easy to graph in Gethy.